the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 61, Deuteronomy 7 to 9. 40 days of fasting and praying. God commanded the people of Israel who were to enter Canaan with his perfect mercy and grace to establish a holy culture on the land. First point, there is a deep connection between Moses' 40 days prayer fast and Jesus' 40 days prayer fast. After Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt, God called for Moses to climb to the high point of Mount Sinai. But whilst Moses was up on the mountains, the Israelites made a golden cup to worship it as an idol. God made it very clear that the people were not to worship any idols. Because of this, the people almost perished that day. Moses, fuming in anger, threw the two stone tablets which God had given him on the floor and broke it in half. The golden cup was made into dust, and the people were made to drink it. That day, 3,000 people died. After this, Moses carved out two stone tablets and went up again and prayed for the people. Much later on, Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and then went to the desert for 40 days to fast before starting his three-year ministry. During his time in the desert, Satan tried to seduce him, but Jesus was able to defeat Satan with Moses' records written in Deuteronomy. Second point, the three tests given by God during the 40 years in the desert gave answer. God gave the Israel nation manna from the heavens for 40 years after Exodus. But at times, God purposefully did not send down manna, and this was in order to make the Israel nation realize that man does not live on bread alone. In doing so, God had three motivations. The first was so that the Israel nation would be humble and serve other nations. The second was so that the Israel nation would seek God's and miss their hunger. The third was so that God could bless them further. Third point, a test is not given to just anyone. Only a person who is ready to take the test is able to enter the examination room. God only tested those who were suitable for examination. An example is Abraham and Isaac on Mount Moriah. They both passed the exam with flying colors. Thus, Abraham was called God's friend. The Mana generation was also tested in the desert. They also managed to pass with excellent grades. That is why they, unlike their parent generation, were able to enter the land of Canaan. Job was also tested by God. Job was given a very difficult exam, but he also managed to pass and receive God's blessing. Jesus was also tested. Jesus was able to pass his test with the words it is written. First point, the Mana generation was to remember the five places where their parent generation disobeyed God five times. The first place was in Mount Sinai when they made the golden calf and therefore had to see the deaths of 3,000 people. The second place was Tibera, where the Lord's anger burned against the people who complained. The third place was Massa and Meribah, where the people fought with Moses 
out of a thirst. The fourth place was Kibroth Hattaba, where the people were buried because they craved other food. The fifth place was Kadesh Barnea, where the ten leaders decided it would be best to return to Egypt. Fifth point, the reason the Israel nation was selected by God was because of God's love and His promise. The reason the Israel nation was chosen to be a holy nation in a kingdom of priests was not because they were the most righteous. It was because of God's love and also His promise with Abraham and Isaac. Another reason was to punish those who were living in Canaan who had been practicing idol worship for way too long. God warned the Israel nation that if they also practiced idol worship in Canaan, they too would be punished severely. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.